journalist, someone who believed deeply in uh, Caribbean, the Caribbean roots, um, uh, a humble servant. And I know even the EU UK representative, Mrs. Dorothea Hodge, she referred to him as a veranda politician, someone who was always willing to assist. You know, his home was always an open door. I know Mr. Kyle Hodge, the Honorable Minister of Economic and Trade and Commerce, he made mention of that as well. At this moment, we have his son, Mr. the Honorable Minister of Infrastructure, Mr. Hayden Hughes, followed by his two sons, Jafari Hughes and Tay Hughes. They are making their way into the building to pay their final respects to their grandfather and certainly the father. So thank you very much, Felisa. So again, we are on the steps almost of the parliamentary building as members of the uniform bodies continue to line up for the start of the funeral procession. The casket bearing the body of the late Honorable Former Chief Minister Hubert Hughes uh, being taken care of by uh, Tucson's funeral home and the procession is scheduled to start at 9 o'clock this morning. And they will proceed from the parliamentary building straight down the middle of the main road here in the valley, proceeding to the... Are ...scheduled to start at 9.30, and the... Funeral service itself will begin at 11 o'clock. Following the service, the late Honorable Former Chief Minister, uh, his remains will be interred at the Bethel Methodist Church in South Hill. There he will have a gun salute. Members of the Royal and Guilla Police Force will be doing that. So we are still waiting. As I indicated to you earlier, uh, his wife, Mrs. Norma Hughes, uh, his sons and other family members are on the inside of the parliamentary building at this time, paying their final respects. Once the casket is closed here, it will not be open at the church. So there will be no viewing at the church. They'll be going straight into the tributes from about 9.30 and then the service at 7 o'clock. So we continue to wait and for the Deputy Police Commissioner, uh, Mr. Forbes, to get all the uniform bodies together. He's already how the various bodies and organizations will be lined up for the uh, procession. I think, Felicia, you had a a sighting of that, perhaps you can just share that, uh, if you will, with our listeners. Okay, we have a number of organizations that be part of the procession. We have the Police Commission Band, the Firing Party. We'll also have members from the Motorcycle Club. Of course, um, the Morning Party. Prison officers, scouts, and pathfinders. So, is here also part of the parade. And you know, Keith, it's unfortunate that this was the second year we were unable to have the ceremonial parade for Anguilla Day. But it is somewhat fitting that this, you know, almost form part of the a similar aspect in terms of having a number of, of the organizations here that would have been present on Anguilla Day, paying their final respect to Mr. Hubert Benjamin Hughes. And uh, at this moment, they are all getting in line. Uh, you see the Deputy Commissioner, Mr. Elliot Forbes, getting everyone together, and we will proceed shortly. We also see 
Sergeant of Arms, Mr. Carl Rowan, Clerk of the House, Mr. Joash Proctor, and a number of dignitaries are currently in the parliamentary building. We also have at this moment Inspector Mason, who will be part of the parade. I'm sure between Inspector Mason and Inspector Millet, they will be the commanding officers here this morning directing the parade. At this moment, we have the Honorable Minister of Social Development and Education, Ms. Deanne Kentish Rogers, and the Minister of Economic Trade and Commerce, Mr. Kyle Hodge, making their way into the building. So, the two ministers, Minister Deanne Kentish Rogers and Minister Kyle Hodge, just passing through, going into the parliamentary building to pay their final respects to the late Honorable Former Chief Minister Hubert Benjamin Hughes. So we are seeing the Parliamentary Secretary, Quincy Gums marie just uh, coming in here and having a quick chat with Minister Kyle Hodge. So again, we want to welcome you wherever you are to this live coverage on this, the day for the official state funeral for the fallen leader, Honorable Hubert Benjamin Hughes. At this moment, Keith, we have Mr. Greg Hughes, the son of Mr. Hubert Hughes, along with his wife, Mrs. Chrislyn Hughes, and their three sons and daughter making their way into the building to pay their final respect to their father and grandfather. So again, members of the Hughes family, uh, ministers of government and other senior government officials being escorted into the parliamentary building, the Atlin Noralda Harrigan parliamentary building here in the valley to pay their final respects. As we told you earlier, the funeral procession will be leaving here at the parliamentary building and proceeding along the main road in the valley to the St. Mary's Pro Cathedral. The proceeding procession is due to start here at the parliamentary building at 9 o'clock. At 9.30, uh, the tributes will begin at the St. Mary's Pro Cathedral. We are seeing now members of the Royal and Guerrilla Police Force, at least uh, coming into our view, lining up in the area leading up to the parliamentary building. As we speak, we can see the Sergeant of Arms, Carl Ruan, escorting the 